Today we're going to look at the Biolytic 3900 Oligosynthesizer. We have upgraded it with an upgrade kit that's designed by and installed by Biolytic. The upgrade kit can be applied to any instrument that's of similar design. On here we'll see that we put in what we call the valve turnover kit. Put in this valve which is a little bit taller. This is a different design than the original. The round valves, like these are the original design. These are a different valve made by a different company. We find these to be much more robust and also uh, they are lower cost. So it's what we consider to be a better valve. The chamber, you can see there is a spacer now that sits on top of the synthesis rotor. This lifts out for access to the columns. The new upgrade provides four drains so that you can dispense into all four banks and then drain all four simultaneously. This saves a lot of time during synthesis. Another thing that we've done is we've added in slow drains that actually drain through the sides of the rotor. You can see some shafts here on the side. There's four of them now and they engage with the rotor and allow us to do a very slow drain. Each bank has the ability to do three different slow drain levels and they can do them at different rates and at different times from each other. So they're completely independent from each other. On the front, you can still see all of the ammonite bottles are as they were. We've changed this analog gauge over to a digital gauge. These bottles remain the same as before. On the back of the instrument, you can see there's one connection here for USB. We provide the ability to have three different types of gas. One is for pneumatics, the other is a bottle pressure, and then there is the drain gas. Down here we have our four exit ports for waste and one for vent. So this is the new rear panel that we install. It has a power supply. This power supply is used to run the valves and also used to run the motor. Valve control boards, these are intelligent valve control boards. If a valve shorts out, they will shut down the individual port that's shorted and will not destroy themselves. We installed another regulator here and we've added a fan in here to cool the motor. This is on the other side of this wall. So now we're going to take a look in this side. We can see again the additional fast drain and the slow drains up in here. This is a new motor and the motion controller, encoder and motor are all built into one unit. Software was designed to work with this hardware. The software runs on Windows 7, Windows 8, and the software has a lot of capabilities in it that allow us to control these new slow drains very precisely, give us a better flow through the columns, and change the functionality of different bottles. So that's our hardware upgrade.